everybody, my name is Crazy Nets, and welcome to... <sighs> welcome to UQ Hoda. In this episode, we meet... Someone... A tomboy. A lady tomboy. Who is calling herself a man. That just sounds a bit like she's been... Uh, had to do with sexism! Something like that. Uh, <laughs> I would like to apologize to everybody. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> this makes things easier. Hello. Alright, I would like to apologize to everybody because I... I had a PTSD attack today, so this video will be a day late, so I apologize for that. If you don't believe me, if I have PTSD, you, s you see that? You see that there? You see that there? That happened because of a PTSD attack. So... <laughs> Alright. In this episode, we met Kuomaru, which is a very adorable character. I think she is cool. Kind of a tomboy. And part of her character... I see where her character goes. She slowly becomes more feminine as the show moves on. So, there is that what I think I believe. And the second thing we learned was, well, Yukihime or Evangeline, in fact, for the rest of the reviews, I'm actually going to call her Evangeline because I it's the name I know her as, but her name should be Evangeline. Evangeline apparently has not been slacking off for two, two, two years or so, and so she created a organization for. Immortals, called UQ Holder, which is, I don't know what that stands for. Holy cow, am I losing my voice? I'm only just realizing this now. Ha! Okay. This episode didn't do a lot. Honest to God, it didn't even do a lot. So, I want to, I feel like it didn't do enough for me. But I'm willing to keep going to watch this because I really don't see this going anywhere. And besides... I got a feeling this is going to get a bad reception, to be honest. Not a lot of people, people are going to say meh, but I am not totally sure what's going on here. They went and had a fan service moment and, oh yeah, yeah, Toto finally learned who the little girl was, that he was lying in her knit. Is it's really what Evangeline looks like, and so she takes a an aging pill to get a rocky body. <laughs> oh God! Well, Evangeline certainly does have a rocky body. Honestly, <laughs> and. I enjoyed the comedy a little 
This still feels like meh. The story didn't go anywhere properly, but I think it's following the manga very slowly. It's like one chapter an episode, so... If it's going to end up like Magic Magic Sensei Negima, it might infuriate people. So that this, I feel like Negima was treated badly. It didn't go where it needed to go. It didn't. Uh, I'm I'm very unhappy that they just created an animation for the ending of the the manga and didn't animate the rest of the series because there were some good stuff going on in the uh, anime. I really. In the manga side, ma- manga. And so, I would like to ask a simple little question to you all. How do you like this new camera angle? Uh, do you like this at all? With the guitars in the back and Tyson over here. Uh, Tyson, this tiger in the back. Please tell me in the comment section below and tell me what you think of the episode below in the comment section. And now, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you did, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye!